Lee number 1443 pending to the text of Murray number 1388. Is there objection? Madam President. The senior senator from Nevada. Reserving my right to object. Uh, Republicans had their chance to work in a bipartisan fashion, and right-wing extremists in the GOP said no. I object. Objection is heard. Okay, there's some serious problems with that. Again, we hear the, the words like MAGA and like extremist coming out. I resent both characterizations. I even more resent the notion that because she disagrees with the views of some members of this body, that it's appropriate, it's acceptable, that it somehow passes for a legitimate argument to brand us using slurs that some of my colleagues have shown, chosen to throw out. But let's not ignore something else here. This has absolutely nothing to do with the border security provisions. The border security provisions, opposition to which my colleague has just said, somehow disqualify me from raising a suggestion that maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't be involved in reconstruction of Ukraine. It has nothing to do with the border security provision. Moreover, unravel that argument for a minute. Think about what they're saying. Even if it were being raised, which it is not, as to my prior amendments, I tried to bring up a few minutes ago, dealing with some border security issues, even if they had been. On what planet is a member of the United States Senate disqualified from debate simply because a bill negotiated in secret by people not of their own choosing on terms that they never approved of? producing a bill ultimately that was not to their satisfaction. On what planet does that vitiate the procedural rights of United States senators to offer improvements to a bill? Senator Mike Lee's frustration with the criticism of right-wing extremism is highlighted, stemming from the perception of Republican resistance to bipartisan collaboration. There's concern about the unfair portrayal of democratic values in political discussions. The argument stresses the importance of freedom of expression and discourse in politics, opposing the labeling of lawmakers as slanderers. This aligns with the democratic principle of individual autonomy and the right to express views without undue characterizations. Senator Lee's support for strict border security measures and opposition to Ukraine's reconstruction may appeal to a demographic prioritizing national security and skeptical of foreign aid commitments. Conservative values prioritize domestic issues over international initiatives. Criticism extends to clandestine negotiations challenging authority, raising questions about the legitimacy of lawmaker proceedings and potential stifling of individual voices. Safeguarding individual rights, including those of elected representatives within democratic procedures, is deemed crucial, with lawmakers emphasizing procedural rights and the right to engage in debates and propose amendments.